Welcome back to my channel. Here I am presenting another making of painting which I did lately. Hope you all like it. Uh, so first of all we will start with the yellow color on the face that is the tilak and uh, some portion on the forehead. So uh, that I have done by wet on wet technique uh, that is first of all I put the yellow color on the paper and then the orange one smudging off together so that it doesn't have lines sections separately. Then I will go uh, for the tilak with the red color and then the nose. This I wanted a uh, blur spots on the nose because of which I covered it like that. Now this section I wanted to uh, try since a very long time the green technique which I which is called all the dark section of the face are covered with a green color. Then we have the beard. So I was very skeptical about how to cover the beard. So first of all I will uh, I did a light wash with grey uh, a kind of uh, orange a light orange and a bit of green on one section so I wanted it that way but I did a very very light wash which I will darken later now the face so I chose the lightest uh, uh, shade of brown uh, which with which I will start the face and I will just leave the sections which I wanted to be white that is that is the upside section of the cheeks and then slowly we will darken the brown and we will move on to darker sections of the face as well like I'm doing right now note that all the things are done on wet on wet technique that is the paper is a bit wet and then I'm putting the color so the edges which you see are soft not hard edges they are so for the beard I used a bit uh, dry brush uh, so that the effect can come at the end of the beard which you can see right now with the grey colour. So now we will start with a darker shade of brown on the face and we'll do it on the dark section. I did it in a different manner that is a wet on dry method that is the color is wet and the paper is dry. I did it because I want the color on the specific area I wanted to try it in this way and then with a wet brush only water on that I will smudge it off inside. As you can see that it will have a gradual gradient effect which I am actually applying right now so that kind of effect can be done uh, by water on the brush after you apply the paint on the paper uh, so now uh, we are actually uh, using another dark brown with a bit of black to highlight all the markings on the face that is eyes as well as some of the wrinkles on the face uh, on the eyeball I just actually uh, mixed brown that is light brown and the dark brown together as you can see uh, so that I'm doing on the other eye now uh, and I'm highlighting all the specific wrinkles on the face uh, now I will move on to a bit more darker brown which I have used to highlight on the lower part of the cheeks as well because I want to give that depth feeling over there so now on the face uh, I will move towards uh, uh, painting the wrinkles as well as the eye section with the darker brown and uh, this is done to give the depth effect towards the eyes and towards uh, the wrinkles actually so that I will do 
so i have used a uh, brown throughout the face with different shades so mostly i have mixed uh, a brown with a bit of tint of red as well as in the darker section i have mixed it with black color so that's how i am getting this different shades of brown I tried a lot of new techniques in this painting. Uh, one was pencil colors. Uh, so as you see that I highlighted a section near the eye with a pencil color, white pencil color. It gives me a skin effect which uh, is easier to get with the pencil color. And uh, I also used a white pen to highlight the uh, hair of the eyebrows which I will also use to highlight the eye twinkle as well as um, the beard specifically so let's see how it converts into and uh, hope you are like uh, the new techniques which I am using I'm using it just to experiment more and more So now we start the darkest uh, brown uh, on the face and uh, this will be specifically on the eye area which is like deep inside uh, and as well as on the lower part of the cheeks. Uh, actually I started off with the beard section on the cheeks but then I realized that I need uh, I want a bit more depth towards the lower side of the cheek and that's why I overdid it and, and then I will again do the beard part. So let's hope it converts into a better thing and uh, on the forehead right now I am doing the part on wet on with the wet on wet technique because I want little markings on the forehead uh, because it cannot be so clear and all so that's why I am making this brown marking so it becomes more realistic and relatable so friends now we are at the end of the painting uh, this is how I did the pen uh, thing with the beard and I experimented it and it went well it converted into a painting which I was looking forward to and I'm happy to share this with you as well thank you so much friends for watching this video if you liked like share and subscribe it